Hey guys, Luke Trivlin here. Just wanted to go over uh, strength training for jiu-jitsu. Uh, I get a lot of questions from uh, guys that I roll with or other athletes uh, asking how they can get stronger specifically for jiu-jitsu. Uh, so I want to go over some, some main components that will help you be a, a better jiu-jitsu athlete. Um, the main components I want are in jiu-jitsu that you want to train for are strength, power, power endurance, and reactive power. All right, strength is a max force a muscle group can produce. Power is a unit of work conveyed over time, so explosive movements. Uh, power endurance is that explosive movement repeatedly exerted. Um, and reactive power is the ability to react explosively to your opponent. Okay, uh, those are the main things you want to focus on when training specifically for jiu-jitsu. Okay, you're training for the sport, not physique, when I'm talking about this. So, you're not necessarily muscle building. A lot of guys worry about getting bigger or bulkier or, or getting less flexible. Okay, well, you're not training specifically to put on size. You're training to get better specifically at the sport, which is what I'm going over here right now. Okay, um, there's a huge advantage of training, strength training for jiu-jitsu. Um, when there's two opponents with equal conditioning, technique, uh, weight, every, everything equal, when one person is stronger and more powerful, they have that advantage before they even step out onto the mat. So it's extremely beneficial to be strong and powerful, especially uh, with a sport like jiu-jitsu that has weight classes, or even uh, going against a guy that's bigger than you, being able to be strong enough to withstand that force coming from a guy bigger than you is uh, very beneficial. So what I'm trying to go over with you guys is, is the fact that strength training is very key to being a, a well-rounded jiu-jitsu player. I don't know how many times I roll with guys that are a lot more technical than me, but I'm able to hang and roll with because of my strength. Um, so having that is, is really important. Uh, another key reason is to strengthen your joints. Uh, a lot of guys have shoulder and knee issues, and it's typically because they're not strength training. Uh, due to the large range of motion, those joints are less stable. So you want to have strong joints that allow more force to be applied, which are going to give you better, tighter submissions, and they're going to allow you to fight against your opponent's submissions against you. So it's extremely important to have those strong, those strong joints. So real quick, I just want to go over some, uh, some basic components to the strength training process. So typically you want to stay in, you're going to be doing three to six sets of an exercise, one to six reps of heavier weight that you're going to move as fast as you can, but it's going to be heavier. Um, and you're going to do a 90 second to two minute break to allow recovery in between. Okay, if you, you're also going to be doing that two to four days per week. Four days uh, on the little more advanced side, two days on the beginner or just basic strength, increasing strength uh, to help you out. What I like to do sometimes is I'll add an active rest in between my sets. So what that means is if I want to get a little more cardio involved in my strength training outside of my jiu-jitsu rolling, which should be the main focus of your, your aerobic and endurance co component, but if I want to add in a little more, I can do active rest, which means let's say I did a set of deadlifts and I have a two minute break in between, I'll doing a, a light, a light exercise such as jumping jacks or jump rope to keep my heart rate elevated and work my aerobic capacity a little bit more. Just another way to uh, add a different type of training in. And I always like to add, add in at the end of my workouts a finisher, some way to really push myself at the end of the workout, uh, get my heart rate elevated, and leave, leave with a good sweat, which I'll go over a sample here in a minute. Um, the last thing I want to add in is stretch. Don't forget to stretch. A lot of guys come in. They barely warm up, they go in roll, and they leave right after they're done. They don't cool down, they don't stretch, they, work, they don't work on their flexibility, they're super tight. Okay, all those things are, are very beneficial for jiu-jitsu athletes. So I wrote down a quick sample of a workout uh, that could be done for strength training for jiu-jitsu. I got three main lifts. You got your deadlift, squat, and bench. You do four sets of each with six reps and a two minute break in between. And you can make those breaks, active rest, if you want to add in more cardio or not. So you go through all three of those and then your finisher could be, you do a farmer's walk, 
a hip bridge, a pull up, and then a neck bridge. You do all those in a row five times as fast as you can for time. And that'll uh, really get your heart rate up, strengthen your joints, help your grip strength, um, hip, hip mobility, and your neck strength, which are all crucial for uh, success in jiu-jitsu. Uh, I also wrote down a brief list of, of really good exercises that are good for jiu-jitsu and martial art athletes. I'll read them off real quick. You got farmer's walk, deadlift, power clean, pull-ups, squats, neck bridges, Turkish get-ups, chin-ups, plate pinch, bar hang, lunges, plank rows, internal external rotation, push-ups, bench press, military press, and hip bridges. Again, when you're training for a sport like jiu-jitsu, you're not necessarily training for size, you're training for the sport to make you a better athlete and more well-rounded than just knowing technique. Being strong and being powerful never hurt anybody. I, I suggest everybody to do it to be a better, well-rounded athlete. If you have any more questions or any questions at all, comment below. I can get back to you on more exercises or anything else you want to see, uh, fitness-related or jujitsu, strength training-related. Uh, like and subscribe, and thank you for listening.